Hey y'all, how are we all doing? Hey Aerie, hey Centaur, hey Jeff, hey Lemon, Centaur and Jeff with the coins of the challenge, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna have to re-spin the wheel, because spin doesn't work while we're on the screen, I don't think. I don't think I set it up to work here. I will write that down to fix. Where's my pen? I found my pen. Um... Add, spin, to chat. Easily do. Lemon with the coins to the challenge. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I promise it's for a good cause. How are we all doing? What's up? How was y'all's day? I'm stalling for just a minute because I had my Switch plugged in and the controller's on Switch which I thought meant that the controllers were charging. Apparently the controllers only charge when they're on the Switch. 
and the switch is turned on, not while it's turned off, to charge. So that's on me. I will keep that in mind for the future. So I'm letting the controllers charge for just a minute. You got your car back? That's Pog. What, uh, what happened to your car? Where'd it go? I'm looking forward to breakfast tomorrow. I'm gonna be honest, this is the earliest I'll have gotten up in a hot minute. So that'll be fun. Oh, man. I'm sitting here watching these controllers charge and I'm like, I really hope you work. What are we having? We're gonna go out. We're gonna go out for breakfast tomorrow. I wonder if I have any cash to tip. Nah, no, you're good, Jeff. I need to be getting up earlier anyways. I'm gonna go visit a friend for New Year's, so if I sleep in till noon, I'll have wasted a shit ton of time with her. I, I, gotta, I gotta wake up early this week. Or earlier at a normal healthy time, and not noon. But yeah, we pog pog. Did you get your resolution fixed in time? Is that why we're pog? Or whatever. Alright, I'm gonna full send this bitch, and hopefully the controllers persist for the evening. If not, we will do something. We are going to have breakfast? Oh, are we? Are you coming? You're invited. Fuck, I'll pay for you. Just get here for 10 o'clock in the morning. On your way? Perfect. Perfect. All right, um, let me reach over, grab the controller real quick. After I decided on the pick, ah, oh, shit, I still haven't sent out those messages or those codes. Hang on, uh, those take like two seconds. Let me, let me distribute those codes really quick. She, I'm a professional streamer. I only have one monitor for tonight because we're doing a Switch game. So... Forgive me, I'm going to miss chat messages for just a moment. There's one cent. And there's two cent. Congratulations winners. Thank you for participating. Giveaways are more fun when people do things to to participate. Alright, I'm gonna grab the controllers and we'll head straight into the game. My dumb ass was muted. Yeah, my dumb ass was muted. Congratulations to our winners. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Why can I not hear? 
Okay, so I'm still figuring out how the switch stuff works. I mean, here all the Discord pings. Why is Discord not being? As I turned stream remote off to send those nitro codes. That's why. Ha. Thank you. Clone with the coin with the challenge. Thank you so much. Okay. We're playing What Comes After. This game was described to me as like a love letter to self care. So. Hopefully it's good. Also, clone with the coins to the challenge. 58,000. That's fucking insane. I'm pretty sure you are number one. You're watching because now she's watching you. Aww. Give her pats. Please. Please. For me. Some pats. Okay. You also have the trigger warning. If, if you need to step out. Okay, Parker. Oh, that's bright. So then my room's not dark. That would have been a fun flashbang and a half. We caught the train. Ah, made it right on time. Oh, now I remember what this is about. I read the about, but I didn't remember anything except for that one line. So, Pog, for the last train, it's not that crowded. Might be able to find a seat. That'd be cool. Aw, she's doing like the, the like the finger thing. Wait, the shy finger thing. Ah. Oh my god, she just like shuffles. Ah, that's so cute. COVID? Oh yeah, everyone's wearing masks. Is it? I didn't even notice. <laughs> it just, it was normal. <laughs> what should you watch? The Witcher's out. Maybe Spider-Man? She doesn't have anything to say. He really likes her. Ah, oh, you should ask her out. Only five memes a day? You sent cat video? I don't... Here, I, I can't open it, hang on. You tell me you sent cat video, I look at my Discord DMs, and it's centaur. You don't seem that you need to see video, you can't? Fuck. The VOD will always be there, Star. I will go back and watch the VOD with you and personally narrate if you want. Server not DM? Alright, I will check because as soon as I started stream, you guys heard I got a bajillion messages. What happened to her? Was she late? Also, can we appreciate how pretty my hair is? It's like pink and purple. In the new comeback song. You're not into those kinds of music, okay? Oh, I felt that though. Weekend at last. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay, we sh <laughs> We go from slow shuffle to fast shuffle. Zoom. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game is so cute. Oh, he's listening to music. No, I wanna. I wanna hear the list. The lyrics, man. Can I have a share in a pod? Okay, we go this way. City is beautiful tonight. The background's really pretty. What happened to your car? Going home by train. You sold it. No. I don't know if they're like a couple 
or he's just mad simping. But that's cute. Butter, milk, eggs. Ah, oh, yeah, I gotta go grocery shopping too. Even though you're home so late, your grandkids are always waiting for you before they go to bed. Aww. You don't want to know. Yikes. Is she wearing dog tags? Look, I found a seat. I get to sit down. Why do I have to run anyway? That's a good question. Aww. No, I care. Well, I felt, I felt that. Man, I'm gonna catch fuel for the stream chat reconnected people try to pronounce omicron omichrome and yeah we should we do a little shuffling cybertron yes i should oh we taking that oh we fell asleep Kitty's a ghost. Did you overslept? You, you overslept. It's okay, baby girl. Relax. Art style's so cute. It's so pretty. And like, look at her, the main character's like, stands? She's so shy. You just locked up. There's nothing wrong with that, baby. Nothing to worry about. She's all by herself, and she's still holding her arm. Why is the train moving? Like, she be but tall? Yeah, kinda. Her name is Vivi. That's super cute. If the cat was here, you assume this is a pretty safe place. I wish that's how it worked. Is that how you call someone who controls the train? The conductor. Focus. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. I need to read all of this out loud. Because I read faster than most people. Hey, that's a ghost. Uh. Those are ghosts. Are they who I think they are? You got into the underside of your car and you didn't realize until you got home from driving it? Oh no. Wait. Does it mean I... I've died? I don't think this was a natively English game. That's this. This doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. I mean, it didn't hurt. Or did I just forget about the pain? Anyway, if this really is the afterlife, I can consider myself lucky. I didn't feel pain. It cost me nothing. And I've been considering it for a- Hold on, that just got dark. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> You won the jackpot? Bruh. Mom be sad. Aww. Oh no. I don't want that either. If you died inside the train, then the cleaning guy would have to handle your body. She She's a part of the ship. A part of the crew. Aww, I love a bad day because of me. Can we just sit, like... How accurately that represents social anxiety? Fucking... Man, I'm dead, but I'm more worried about inconveniencing the fucking... Cleaning crew. <laughs> oh, baby. Whoever sat next to me on the train... Would be traumatized. Someone died next to them. Oh no. Oh, baby. 
What should I do? No. I guess there's nothing you can do. No. Your job is done. It's okay. You can rest now. Oh, she looks like a bitch. Someone who works here. I bet she knows where the train's headed. And we just do a little shuffle. Oh my god, it's so cute. Ah. I love her. I want to explore. I don't think the ghosts want to talk to me though. I should talk to that early first. No, you shouldn't. Excuse me. One by one, please. Your turn will... Oh, not this again. Another living being on board? Oh, I'm alive! What am I doing here, kid? I... Actually, I don't know why I'm here. You what? Oh, the humans failed to do their job again. I have but one request. One! For them to make sure the train is empty at night. Wait. Maybe it's not the humans. Maybe it's... them? But why? What are they trying to achieve? Oh man, there's like- there's a sinister plot brewing now. Oh, ma'am, excuse me. Can you tell me where this train's going? Well, as you can see around you, dead people board this train. Yeah, I kinda noticed that. To be precise, this train is boarded with beings who died in the proximity of 10 kilometers from the train station. That's exact. <laughs> Didn't know we needed that level of precision, but I. Where are they taking? To what comes after, of course. What comes after? Yes, what comes after. No more explanation for the living. Am I going there too? Of course not. I will never allow that. The living should never cross when it's not their time. But I think I saw a cat just now. A cat that just walked past? Honey, she's also dead. So far, you're the only not dead creature here. Then what should I do? Back to the living, of course. I can do that? Yeah, we'll take you back. Really? Thank you so much. But? Eh? I can't simply ask the train to return now, so you'll have to wait until tonight's group reach their destination. And then we'll go back to the station together. That doesn't sound too bad. How long does it take? Don't worry. We'll finish the trip before morning. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Beats me. <laughs> Fucking sucks to suck energy. You can just wait in the car you came from. Or, you know, walk around, try to get to know the folks around here. They always have some stories to tell. And maybe, just maybe, you can help them with something. Or they can help you with something. Help me with something? Honey, come on now. I've been around long enough to notice that you're not complete. Bruh, didn't need a call out. Perhaps you'll learn a thing or two. Ah, my battery is already low. Shit. Anyways, I have to work. The list won't fill itself. Getting to know these ghosts, huh? Yeah, babbery low. What should I do? I can just return to the car I woke up in and wait. Or should I walk around? Hey, Ash! How are you? We, uh, we're playing a visual playing, watching, experiencing a visual novel. And look how fucking cute it is. Ah, I love it. She just anxiously shuffles everywhere. Give me just a second. I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to, um, to charge the controllers and play at the same time.
All right, this should work. I'm basically just holding the whole ass charging. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Basically just holding the whole ass charging station as a controller. Hopefully I don't bump it around too much. <laughs> I'm a little dumb though, but also thank you for stopping by, and I totally understand forgetting to say hi. I do that shit too. Can you not hold- or do the Joy-Cons not work while the game- or the Switch is in the charging station? That's a stupid rule. Hmm. What to do? So, Ash, I think you missed the beginning. What's happening is I left the controllers on the switch. I plugged the switch in. I thought the controllers would charge that way. Apparently, the controllers will charge if the switch itself is turned on. So, we're, we're in a predicament. Why do you see Skyrim symbol in stream? Where do you see a Skyrim symbol? Yeah, Ash, like, I thought I was doing so good. I thought I was ready for tonight. And then, then it was just like, no. Top right. Do you mean the little box with three lines in it? Oh, a Twitch extension. Shoot, okay. So I'm playing around with a mod for, um... I can't see that in OBS, because it's, it's a Twitch thing. I'm playing around with a mod for tomorrow's playthrough. And I forgot that I had it turned on. Because I was playing with settings and figuring out how it worked for tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yoink my brother's Joy-Cons that should be charged, I hope. And then we should fix this problem. We're gonna go to the chatting screen for just a moment. And then we'll be able to get back to the game. Ah, that's a good idea. Do, 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 do. Your new controllers. And these are fully charged. Uh. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Hi, Sophie! Oh my, I think you're gonna like tonight's game, actually. Thank you for stopping by. But it's- look at how fucking cute this is! And it's just like- it's a visual novel about basically self-care. So, sit back and enjoy. We- we're just dealing with a technical issue. But like, ah, I fuck- it's- it's so pretty! And like, her- her body- like how she stands, she's holding her arm, and the, she does the little finger thing with like the fingers touching together, like in the pleat emote. <laughs> and the idea of a run in this game, like, see, she does, she does a little, a little, uh, a little weeble, and then she just like wobbles faster. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's it's so cute. I I'm having a great time. Hey. All right, just like that, Centaur. You right? You right? Last thing you remember was that truck barreling over me. Hey, that's not very pog. And then I'm here. 
did it hurt? And only for a while. I suppose it's because for celebration, right? You didn't suffer. That's... Man, I'm out here saying like, oh, this game is so cute. I heckin' love it. The art style is so pretty. <laughs> I got ran over by a truck. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Sophie, to catch you up, um, we were on a train ride home from work or somewhere, and we overslept, and when we woke up, we were on a train full of ghosts. And that's- that's all we know. That's like your body language. Yeah. This, um, this character has very accurately represented, um, the socially anxious pretty well so far. When she woke up and she saw that there were ghosts on the train, she thought that she was dead, which she's not. And her first response was not, oh no, I'm dead. It's, the cleaning man is going to have a bad day because he's going to have to deal with my body. And then she started celebrating because she wasn't in pain and she just died easily. Ah. <laughs> uh. And then somewhere in that mess was, I don't want to be dead, my mom will be sad. I don't think that's... I'm just kidding. I won't fly with the conductor, don't worry. By the time this train arrived, wherever it is we're headed, I'll already be content with myself. You're so sure of yourself. Not always. But when I don't, I try to forgive myself and try again. I suppose you need to hear that, huh? Yeah. Thank you. On one hand, I wish that there was voice acting, because I feel like this is the type of thing. It was no pain, then concern for mom, and then cleaning mint. Yeah. Charlotte, it's so cute! I love it too! It's like... Very socially anxious, and then it's all about... It's like self-care. And remembering to forgive yourself and stuff. I forget what it was described as on the, the store. It was like a love letter to self-care or something like that. Aww. The living world is but an egg. Preparing for the real life after death. Just you wait. Um, heed my words, young lady. I'm sorry, I need to get going. Yeah, I'd probably leave her too. Oh, you want to talk to me? Okay. Hey, are you a ghost? Uh, no. But I think you are. Ah, so I'm truly dead. I see. Thank you. That would be me. <laughs> Fucking- oh. Huh. I- I have done enough good in life. Make it worthwhile, you know? I'm sure you did great. How do you know that, kiddo? Because you think like that. Thank you. You're a good kid. Alive and healthy, too. Should you really be here? I shouldn't. There's been a mistake. I see. You have... A cognitive ability between your fingers, idea, and your head, and your keyboard? Gamers be like... Oh, you have no cognitive ability. Understood. I'm glad the mistake happens. Why? You got to be my brief company. It's a pleasant company. Oh. Thank you. Aw, oh, that's really sweet. I don't hear that very often. It's good that I say it then. Aw. See, even after you died, you're still doing good for others. Gotta cram it in before Judgment Day, am I right? That's a good guy, I like him. And also, that's a super fucking valid point. Like... If you're worried about doing good... Then you probably did. Huh? I was so close to promotion. Oh, honey. Work's been going well. And the cute guy from accounting's been responding to my advances, too. Why now, of all time? I think that you have bigger things to worry about, honey. Are you okay? 
I will be. For now, leave me alone. I want to grief the loss of my fleeting youth. Yikes. I bet you you were a scene kid in high school. Huh. Hey, cat. Do we want- who do we want to talk to first? We can talk to him hey. first. Are you in charge of this train? No. Put me through. You have no idea what I'm capable of. I have money. I can buy this whole train. No, you can't. Fuck. You want to turn back. I... Yeah, I don't think that's how it works, homie. Entitled asshole. Man, I'm like painting pictures for what these people were like when they were alive. And let me tell you, I have a very clear picture of what that man looked like. You just change keyboards and you hate everything? Oh no. He does! I'd punch him, but I think my hand would just go straight through his face. You ever heard those generic stories about how we should spend more time with our family before we die? I used to laugh at them, but now... I can't stop thinking about my family. And the time I won't be able to spend with them anymore. Aww. She was a mom. Hey. I think that I just wasted my life to make somebody else richer. Life is often unfair in that way. Here, here. At least death seems fairer than life. What makes you think that? Humans don't run through this one, little girl. Nothing and no one mess it up. That's... A bleak outlook? Yeah. Are you one of those optimists? No. Quite the opposite, really. I'm just humoring you. I don't get to be positive. Oh, you didn't get to be positive when I was like, there's a couple of grammar errors in this game. Welcome back, Baker. Welcome back. Now, let me have a piece of hope. A hope that whatever entity running this show is fair and just. Unlike the clowns you worked for. What if the judgement is fair, but you don't like the outcome? You mean if I got thrown into hell, whatever? Or whatever is the equivalent? Hmm. I don't think I did much good in life, so it's possible. But if that means people more evil and cruel than me got what they deserve too, I think it's worth it. Then I hope what awaits is something you deserve. Aww. And he's still so shy. And like, look at the idol animation. She fucking plays with her toes. She's not just like standing there. Like she's she's doing a little foot kick. She's doing a little foot kick. And she does little steppies. She do she do a little steppy. It's super cute. I like her. Her name is Vivi. I'll finally be able to see my wife again. Life without her was hard. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. I'm here now, aren't I? I waited for ten years. I can wait for another ride. Oh, I'm sorry. You seem so sure you'll reunite with her. No one else here seems so sure. Faith is all I have. You're still young. And you still have your life at you from the look of it. The longer you live, the more faith and belief triumphs. I don't think I understand, sir. I'm sorry. Don't think too much of it. Live your life as you see fit. And cherish the good people around you. No. There's lots of little messages in here that I really like. It's all really positive. Like, it might be kind of a grim... I don't know. Oh wait, there's a chat log. Oh, well, that's cool. But like, it might be kind of a grim way to express it, being literal dead people. Well, no, Lily, I just, I don't know what other word it is. And some of these people were talking about getting hit by trucks, which is not exactly uh, sunshines and rainbows. But also, hi, Lily. When they talked about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, 
I didn't expect it to be literal. You know, fair enough. I used to love romantic comedy movies, you know? Most of them are about a boy or a girl looking and chasing after someone they love. You overslept and fed the dogs? Aw, puppy. And when they finally are together, that's it. Happy ending. As if getting together is the end of the journey. It's okay, Toonie. I understand. Me too. I've been hardcore on the new world grind. Hey, Sunflower. How are you? Thanks for tuning in. We're playing a really cute visual novel about self-care and forgiving yourself. I should look up the how the authors described it. Because I don't remember. But it's not. Getting together. It's not. And you learned about it the hard way. What happened? The usual, you know. Things are great, until they don't, and when that happens, it'll affect you emotionally, and sometimes even physically. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Heh. <laughs> it's too late. Looking back now, I shouldn't have drowned my sorrow with those drinks. There are better ways. Ways that won't end my life, and ruin the people around me. I'm sorry for putting it up. Venting a bit at you. No, it's okay. I don't even know who you are. What tea is best? Breakfast tea. Just straight black tea. But don't make the same mistakes I did. There will always be a better solution. For whatever problems you're facing. No, poor guy. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. Yeah. Why do you think the means to transport the dead take form as a train? Huh? Sweet tea, Texan here? Of course the Texan says sweet tea. But also, I love my- I love sweet tea. When someone says tea though, I usually go for hot by default. And then if they're like, okay, but what about iced tea? Then it then it has to be sweet tea. There are several mentions of very types of transportation to the underworld mythology. A train is certainly a fresh, modern interpretation. Is it developing along with humanity's technological growth? What are the theological and metaphysical implications of the importance of humanity within this? Uh, you're a nerd, dude. You're a fucking nerd. I bet you worked at, like, a museum or something. Maybe you were a professor. This thing's on your mind. You should write an article about this. Nah, you were a professor. I should write an article about this, bro. You can ramble to me about it if you like. You're so kind. I'm afraid I'll bore you. You're the living kid they talked about, aren't you? Is it possible for you to bring this observation to my colleagues once you got back? Will they believe you? No, I suppose they won't. How unfortunate. Okay, I can talk both. Wait, is this a kid? Aww. Also, my chat broke. It's supposed to be negative. Sweet tea, you also like hot green tea with a double Splenda. See, I don't like Splenda. If we're gonna do tea... I'm 100% for sugar. I'm supposed to get negative 15 this weekend? That's gross. So that's something about technology. As much as you love technology, you think we overuse it. Yeah, this fucking nerd over here was like... Is... Is the way that the dead are transported to the afterlife evolving with humans' technological growth? Because, like, obviously it's a train. But a thousand years ago, it wouldn't have been a train. So did they just, like, remodel? Or... Is it constantly evolving? My personal take is that... It'll be a medium that people understand and aren't particularly afraid of. Like, if it was a horse and carriage a thousand years ago, people would just be accustomed to that. 
that's a that's a welcome sight. Whereas nowadays, if if it's a train, people know what a train is. People know how to use a train. Anyways, if this is truly the afterlife, I hope my mom is waiting at the end. Having to go alone is scary. Are you afraid? A little bit. Mom said she'll be waiting for me. In a dream. So waiting room in a bureaucracy? That sounds about right. You didn't... I mean... Ah, uh, no. I didn't purposely try to go after my mom. If that's what you're implying. The doctor said it's... Heidi... Pitter... Hereditary? Yeah, that. She said it means we suffered from the same illness. I feel sorry for my mom. It really hurts. I suppose it's good that she went first. Less pain for her. No, Man. It's not your fault we were ill. Well, yeah. It's over now, anyway. I don't feel any pain anymore. Neither does my mom. So don't worry. Auntie? I'm not that old. But never mind. Will you be okay? If the afterlife is actually bureaucracy, you're 100% just gonna haunt the place? Yeah, uh, yeah. Good luck. You say this one thing where a magic dagger made this square being cracked into pieces where you don't do what? Say so you freak yourself when pets die? By. Oh, they're not in pain anymore. Yeah. Yo. Do you suppose you still have a chance to haunt your ex? I hope so. Fuck him. Or her. Or them. We can ask to turn around and give him one last surprise. Why do you want to haunt him? You'd love to haunt your ex? Yeah. What did they do? He made. Okay, I was right the first time. This is my only chance for payback. Uh, I know what you're gonna say. I should forgive and let go. Maybe. But I don't know how your ex was wronged you. So it'll be presumptuous of me to tell you off. <laughs> it's okay. You didn't say it, but I know deep down that it's true. I need to let go. Holding grudges isn't healthy. That's true. You're dead though. No such thing as healthy or unhealthy anymore. Girl. Are you telling me to be a vengeful ass? That's not what I said. <sighs> Screw forgiving him, mess him up. Yo, the sugar stuffs you just moved from Texas to Oklahoma. Hey, uh, y'all don't do sugar. And exactly, Lily, you forgive so that you can move on, not to give others closure. And also, Centaur, I am never giving you my address just so I'm safe from hauntings. Just a mess with someone alive, I guess. No. This is cool. Huh? This part of the train looks different. It does. It's a dining car. Well, yeah, no shit. I don't think dining cars exist on the local commuter. Oh, who am I kidding? Does if logic and city transportation plan apply here? Yeah, Parker? You'd push it around in Dee's house? Bro. Fucking... Centaur's gonna just like... I feel like Centaur wouldn't be particularly disruptive. I feel like he'd be like... I'd write something on a sticky note and turn around and when I come back, my sticky note's crossed off. Or like, I'll open a drawer, he'll shut the drawer. I don't think he'd, like, throw shit around. Like, break plates or anything. I think he would just piss me off. <laughs> I'm playing Apex. And I'm, like, I'm trying to hard push. And he just starts holding S. Oh my god, Prism! Hi! It's been a hot minute. How are you? You do minor inconveniences? Ah, oh, god. 
You've been here for several minutes, you doof. But you didn't say anything. I don't know you're here until you say something. I don't get, like, join alerts. Draw funny faces on all the notes. I'm cool with that. You were haunting me. Well, haunt me harder. Try to make you go to sleep if you aren't. Oh my god. Me, when I'm up at 4am and Centaur just fucking starts bonking me with the newspaper. Set every painting slightly angled. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Man, those dots are like... If making awkward eye contact with somebody were a dialogue. Toast all of the bread? No. Actually, I like toast, so I don't know, maybe. Leave me alone, kid. Fuck you. I'm gonna bite your ankles. Yeah. Oh well. He got me at last. At least I die a martyr. Martyr for what, dude? If you're lucky, he'll go to jail. Um, sorry, but I'm so curious. <laughs> Some people live a life full of vengeance, kid. Don't be like me or him. Will I hear the detail of this? No. I'm not sure I want to know. Good call. Bro, what? Why, w why would you make my peanut butter chunky? You'd burn half my toast and you'd blow the other half? Why? Add a sticky note around the house every day? Oh, please, I do that myself. Hide rubber ducks around the house? Oh my god, I would love that! I would love to have a ghost roommate if we got to play fucking goat or duck hide and seek. Except for I'd miss one, and then it would be a couple months later, and there would still be a rubber duck somewhere. And chunky peanut butter, it's just... it's just wrong. You don't have chunky butter. Why are you allowed to have chunky peanut butter? I was hanging on, you know. I thought my dad would like to see me wake up healthy one day. There's the point of no return. And he told me to let go if I have to. So I let go. Your dad loves you, you know. He doesn't want you hurting any longer. Maybe. But I can't let go of the thought that he gave up on me. Aww. Man, I just got like a... You know when you have a really strong emotion? And you can feel your brave... Or your brave... Your brain like have this wave of... Activity, maybe? Like my whole brain just shivered at that. Ah, uh, Man. Do you love me when you were alive? Very much. And I have no doubt it's hard for him to let go of. Hang on. Parker with the fucking haunted elf on a shelf looking head ass. I just wanted you to stop hurting. I guess. Thank you. It helps to hear it from somebody else. Especially someone still full- still so full of life. Am I? Yes. Maybe you think you have one foot in the grave already. But more than anyone, you want to be alive. Aww. A one Siberian husky plush from Cracker Barrel? I can't say that I do know, actually. We walk away from this conversation with much to think about. Yeah. Ready? Ready? We shuffle, but slightly faster. Huh. No one's at the bar. Well, it's a death train anyway. Who would need food and drink here? Okay, but they have cute little cakes! Ah! Speed rush shuffle. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Zoom. Gonna win a, win a race like this. The fucking anxiety shuffle. Hi. Uh, to witness your child's death is the worst thing. Ten years of living through that. Now... Now is peace. 
No, I'm sorry. Maybe they'll be waiting for you on the other side. I hope so. I miss him. No. Piece of bread that I burnt. Why'd you burn it? Is now... Is now what? Oh, you were the barely alive girl. Barely alive? Ah, uh, you know. Not here, not there. They've been talking about you. Uh, listen. Recent advice from a dead person. If you had to choose, choose life. It's much worth- it's much more worth it. It's- It's much more worth it. Okay, sure. I heard things- or I know things might seem hard, but it sounds easier to just let go. But this is one thing you can't get back. Better enjoy it while you can. I know I would. That's so true though, you only get one eye. You tried Cracker Bell for the first time, and just reinforced the idea that you don't like it? They're okay. I've never had anything from there that I was, like, super impressed with. But I've never disliked it, you know? They had Moxie? Gross. Jump out the train Divergent style? I love that series so much. I was so happy they changed the movie ending from the books. Because the books made me cry. It's nasty, but you thought it was cool. <laughs> you know, understandable. Hey, you look different from us. Uh, yeah. I'm not dead. They didn't finish the books, though? What do you mean they didn't finish the books? They wrote three. Are they? Yeah. You heard they're going to take you home. That's cool. After they take us to what comes after. When you do get back home, Please your live your life to the fullest. You'll never appreciate what you have until you lose it. Well, Parker, they did too finish the story of the movies. <laughs> did you read all three Divergent books? The taste of cough syrup and black licorice. Wait, this is a literal baby. Why? Aww. They didn't finish the book story in the movies. I mean, they did it differently, but they finished the story. They changed the ending. Hello, myth. You can talk? What? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for, miss? You did nothing wrong. Dude, you're like... What? I noticed. What are you... <laughs> you what? <laughs> yeah, I noticed I was kinda young. Like... What? <laughs> it's nothing I can do about it. How can you speak like adults? Miss, you're inside a train that takes people to the afterlife. And the thing you wonder about is how I can talk. <laughs> oh, man. Don't be surprised by how well you can understand what everyone says on this train. You might not understand what they mean. You've talked with the others here, then. I did. Some of them have the re same reaction as you. No surprise. Death comes to everyone. Why would they be surprised? That's- that's deep. Don't underestimate babies. For all we know, the adults are the ones that always fail to understand us.
Wasn't that the entire plot of like, what was it called? Little Geniuses? It wasn't Boss Baby, there was another movie where the whole point was until babies were like two or something, they were fucking genius. Babies can barely point to a wall. Oh my lord. <sighs> Oh, I didn't know I could sit down. Or maybe I only down with this one. Me? Maybe. I haven't really got the chance to know them. It was deep in one way, but this just went into a whole other rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, judging from some of the passengers here, this world doesn't seem like a pretty nice place to live. Uh-huh. I guess you dodged the bullet here. That's not a nice way to say it. Don't tell me. Because I because of a shooting? No. Oh, oh my god, can you imagine if this fucking like fucking baby got shot and I'm just out here talking about bullets? Oh my god. Rabbit hole to Alice in Wonderland. A little bit. Do you find life to be difficult? Uh, me? Oh no. I guess yeah. It's not easy. That was on me. It's my fault that my life is hard. But why? Huh? What do you mean? Why do you think it's your fault? I... I don't know. Oh, I know. Somebody must have told you. And you can't stop thinking about it. No. No one ever said that to me. Whoa. Then why? I'm not sure myself. Your weirdness. Yeah, no, no shit. I'm talking to a baby. You sound like my parents. They keep apologizing to me. Even after I left my body, they did their best. Tune you with the coins of the challenge. Thank you so much. What is it to be sorry for? Yeah, I don't think much. We think about things that are beyond our capabilities. What a waste of energy. Fucking facts, dude. You can spend the time and energy to choose which toys you'll play with. Or which cartoon you'll watch. And yet, adults choose to spend their energy and time in their heads. There is no monster in front of you. Why do you put one inside your own head? I didn't need to talk to an introspective fucking t eight month old also can we just appreciate that this baby came to the afterlife with a bottle everyone else was like themselves I think most of them had like a shirt on but their legs weren't even really defined Steak too slight. You can only see and smell them. This fucking baby is Yoda. I have my teeth. I'll never know how school feels, though I've learned so much only by laying down in the hospital bed. There's so many things I'll never experience, but I guess that's alright. How can you be so content? Hi, this is Claire. She'll be the ghost assigned to your haunting. She likes long walks on the beach, Halloween, and the sound it makes when a puppy yawns. I want to meet Claire. Aww same sunflower i just i wasn't expecting this what's contempt what is it well it's a feeling of peace i guess you have such a peaceful mind for someone who just died and especially someone so young i am dead which means there's nothing i could do why should i think about it had seven miscarriages? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. And this is wholesome and cute, but it's- there's feels on this baby, for sure. I'm dead, random baby, 2021. Your special haunting is really to make everyone in your house think just heard a spooky noise, but it's different for each person. Ah, oh, man. Miss. 
You don't have to compare yourself to me, you know? I know so little. That's why I don't really think things too much. You're not me. You know more. You've been through more things than me too. So, just think and go at your own pace. Based on watching many adaptations of Snow White. Yodo and other emotions. Aww. No. Man. I was not expecting the deepest conversation we've had yet. Be with a baby. Also the longest conversation. Like that was a really long conversation with the baby. In my face with the baby thinks you left and hear what it says about you when you're not there. Ah shit bet. There's not like a crouch or anything. Talking shit, dude? Huh? Talking shit? Oh, don't worry, I'm not here. Okay, I don't think he's talking shit. It's a kitty! And a pup- and an owl! I didn't even see the owl up there. You talk. Of course, I'm an owl. Although, everyone communicates with each other here. So it's not a surprise. The pets! Why are you here, Mr. Owl? What happened? I'm here because it's my time to be here. Ah, so we're sticking with the stereotype of, uh... Owls are wise. I guess you know what happened to you. And where you're going right now. I do. I'd say I'm an owl, right? I don't understand what you mean. But I guess the stories are true. The owl is one of the wisest creatures. Not all of us, but pretty much. Humble brag, dude. Care to share some wisdom? Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear some, some owl wisdom. I'm wise. But to answer your question, I can't. Your wisdom is something for you to find out yourself. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. And you have to in order to survive. It's not like I needed more pressure or anything. Oh man, she's a mood. It's not wisdom, it's just a fact. And you'll be able to handle it. Takes 200 something looks to reach the center of a Tootsie Pop. Does it? Does it really? I feel like that's an exaggeration. I counted one time. I don't remember. Huh. Pleasure was mine. Anyway. You should explore this place a bit more. Are you kicking me out? Yes. Bruh. It was nice talking to you too, until you kicked me out, homie. An owl? Facts, dude. I'm finally free from those humans. Oh my god, there's a monkey over there. But I kind of miss them. A bit. You should be more honest with your feelings, cat. Hey! Oh man. Okay, night three of butchering your username. Uh, Vigelis? I think I got it right first time this time. I hope. I'm so bad. <laughs> Reject human, return to monkey. Yes. What are you talking about? I love them, right? Well, I love them enough. I feel like he hates us, but when you don't give him attention, he wants all of it. Pretty much. Shouldn't put too much love on someone, you know. You can only do that for yourself. Of course, that's what a cat would think. But there are other ways to think. Oh my god. You are a cat. Even in death. But hello, monkey. Oh my god, there's a baby over there. Hi, baby. It's been years. I hope I can finally meet my human again. 
What's this game? It is... Good question. What comes after? I only have one human, and our home is the whole city. Our roof is the sky. They were beautiful, but I got cold sometimes. Oh. You're human. Did they go away before you? Yes. I didn't know what happened, but suddenly he just stopped moving. No, I'm sorry. Yes. What if the humans were kind to me? Sometimes they give me food. Some even allow me to sleep under their roof. Aww. But not inside. Hmm. Seems like you live in a nice neighborhood. Oh, but everyone was kind to me. Some were mean. But I'm sure they have their own reasons. Dog. Nothing. I'm sure your human's waiting for you. I hope so. Aww. I don't know that I want to talk to the the monkey. I don't know what this monkey is about to me, but I, I don't know that I'm ready for it. They said curiosity kills the cat. And then why am I here? It's fucking curious, George. Bro, he got ganked. I was curious. Didn't you hear me just now? No, I, I did. It's okay. Curiosity really takes you to places you don't expect. Got way too curious, Georgie boy. Muma? Aww. Kitty cat, are you by yourself? Yes. Do you know where my Muma is? Aw, baby kitty. I don't have the answer for both. I'm sorry. But you're going somewhere fun. I assure you that. Really? I'm sad I can't meet Yuma. But I also can't wait to play at my new home. You'll have fun, kitten. Aww. <laughs> okay, we gotta we gotta finish the pets and move on. I need to get past the animals. My master must be worried. It's at home with my family. My human family, that is. What happened? I don't know. All I remember is they were crying, and I was in pain. But seeing them cry hurt me even more, so I tried to cheer them up. But I didn't have the energy. I tried to use all the energy they had left to bark. And suddenly I'm here. They must be worried <laughs> Why? Do you think they don't love me anymore? Of course not. They cried for you. They loved you very much. But I'm sure they know that you're in a better place now. Or on the way to a better one. <laughs> Man. Alright. Uh, is there anything beyond loving one's family? Maybe. Probably. But not for you. Anyway, you don't have to worry, okay? You're going to a better place, and you can wait for humans in peace there. They're coming to- maybe, not soon, but yes, they're gonna come for you. Alright, so this game, um, you fell asleep on the train on the way home, and the ghosts used this train in the middle of the night to make sure that all of the spirits and the people who have passed away get to the afterlife. And we are still alive, but we were accidentally left on this train when all of the spirits boarded. So now we can't go home until they get to the afterlife. So we're just talking to them and helping them on their way. So, Goose, Multiple characters have confirmed that we're alive. They look at us and they say, what's a living human doing on board? So we're still alive. Oh hey, there's plants. That's how some people cope with tragedy. This is, this is true. Feels like a forest. I'm glad lurking this stream. Me too, clone. I'm glad you're here. I thought this place couldn't get any weirder. Oh my god, you're so cute! 
you referenced that we are in the between, not dead alone. Life. Well, a couple talked about us being in the middle, and a couple have talked about us being alive, and the train conductor said that we were alive. So we don't really know, I guess. But hi there. I don't see anyone. Seriously, human? You're standing among so many plants. Maybe you're in a coma? Maybe. We were on the train, like, on the way home from work or something. And we we fell asleep on the train. And then we woke up and we were here. So did you see no one? Typical humans. Wait. Are you... Yep, I'm standing next to you now. Sleep is just logging out of your body, you know? Holy... I'm speaking to a plant? Oh god. Of course that's how a living human would react. I'm... I'm sorry. It's just that I never imagined that I'd be able to speak to plants. Yeah, yeah. You people studied us. Even consider us fellow living beings. And yet, you're surprised about us being able to communicate. You know, that that's... A valid point. You're sorry. Sure. Anyway, I just want to say I'm the only living thing on board. So yeah. Hi. Hello. Um, what should I call you? Call? Oh, you mean name? Tell me whatever you like. Our kinds never needed names. Alright then. Uh, can I call you Tiny? Aw, that's so cute. Tiny. Out of all the creative names you can give me, you chose such an offensive name to describe my size? Oh my, oh my. Whatever. You can call me Tiny. Really? Thank you, Tiny. Ugh, I bet you call your pet generic names too, like Kitty or something. Oh my god, she really just went for the fucking kill shot. Is the whole game like this? Uh, I think so. This is my first time playing it, and we've only been playing for a little over an hour. What'd you just say? Nothing. So, what's your name? Me? My name's Vivi. I called her Vivi earlier. I'm gonna stay with Vivi, that sounds cute. Please to meet you. Yeah, yeah. See you lost? Why does she have tiny Tina energy? But for real, Toonie, she's just like, oh yeah? Bing bong, fuck your life. Not really. I mean, I was lost. But at least they said they can take me home. Now I'm just walking around killing time. Whoa, girl. Don't talk about killing things on this train. Centaur button game form? Honestly. <laughs> Mance is just here to bully me. Also Sunflower with the coins to the challenge. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Not wrong, though. Ah, that was a slip of the tongue. Anyway, how's the ride so far? Well, it's been very eye-opening. Deep down, I still believe this might be a dream. No, it's not. It's real. Oh, well, either way is fine with me. Yeah, you just gotta enjoy the ride. We just vibing. Anyways, that's all I want to say. I won't hold you much longer. You should use your time while here. Talk to everyone, maybe. And be nicer to plants once you return. Oh my god, we can- we can anxiety wobble so slow! Wait, oh my god, I just glide. If I do a slow movement with the sprint, I can just glide. <laughs> oh my god. Neom. Uh, I do really want to talk to them. Bro, seems like that girl staring at us. Hush, don't be too loud. She might hear us, but they don't understand our language. Um, I can hear and understand you just fine. Whoa, is she talking to us? No way. Humans don't even notice our existence until they're hungry. If she noticed us, it means she's going to eat us. Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to eat you. She's human. She must be lying. Just pretend we don't hear whatever she said. Maybe she'll ignore us. Alright, alright. You don't want me around. I'm leaving. She said she's leaving. Why is she still here? I don't know. What I imagine shrooms are like, not gonna lie. 
Are you avoiding me? Oh, are you talking to me? Well, yeah. Why are you so surprised? It's not every day somebody wanted to talk to me. And why is that? I'm just a normal tree. With nothing to talk about. Nothing. I can talk about photosynthesis. Consider that I've been doing it my whole life. Other than that, even speaking with you now gives me anxiety. Aww. Would pat the tree. I wanted to say you should be more confident in your life. But then I remember that I no longer live. Oh, the more reason to not feel anxious, right? You're right. Shrooms on shrooms, yup. Don't think about it too much, though. I also still struggle with that from time to time. Don't overthink things. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to do better. Goose. Goose. Don't let me forget, I want to message you off stream. I don't know why don't be anxious led me to I want to talk to Goose. Maybe because I don't have to be nervous around you. You're safe. You're a good friend. Being in the middle of the food chain sucks. Hey, dear. Did a predator catch you? A human? Pardon me. Yes, you were right. Yikes. It's alright. Still sucks, but it's okay. The tiger also has a family to feed. The law of nature. You didn't hold any grudge? You've never felt so insulted in your life? Why would you be insulted? I was complimenting you. Fucking... Fuck you. I mean, you're a little far for that, but like, get your ass over here. This seems so tiring, just reading texts. See, all of the texts have like, a life message in them. That you're, you're reading and you're paying attention. It's... It's really nice, and there's a lot of strong feelings in these... these texts. And yes, Goose, you may be made out of meme particles, but you're also safe for me. Oh my dear, we know. You'll know one day, when your time has come. Life opening? Maybe, maybe eye opening. There's just some good reminders for things that we've all heard before, but maybe needed to hear again. And also, I had a couple select people in mind for this stream that I happen to know are lurking, and they need to hear these. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Thank you. Even though this is not my prettiest form, you can grow to be more beautiful? Who is lurking? See, Charlotte, I'm not gonna call them out, but if the shoe fits and they take something away from this stream, then that's, that's what matters. But also, I appreciate the lurk. Somebody pulled me from my root before I got the chance to grow. Oh. Are you that kind of human lady? The ones that used my kind to find love and breed more humans? No. Oh, I would never think of doing that. But other humans would. Yeah. They... We would. Why do your people love doing that? I don't know. Don't say sorry all the time. I was just asking questions, you know. Just so you know, it's not like we flowers don't like to be appreciated. We love to be considered as beautiful gift. We'd prefer if humans don't just pluck us out before our time. I'll keep that in mind. At least I can change myself, and maybe those around me, so we can be more mindful. Ah, chat broke! Only thing you got is you like death even less? No. So far, we've had don't overthink this. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to not be nervous. That whole baby was a fucking rabbit hole of life experiences. Remember to pay attention to the beautiful things around you. Have patience. 
Like, there's so many messages in here. Oh, we got more trees. Oh god, the shrooms are back. What is this game? I keep forgetting the name. It is called What Comes After. And yeah, death has brought everyone together. And we get to experience all of their messages at the same time. Which is cute. Maybe this isn't a dream. Or a death. But a really weird acid trip. Maybe. Uh, exclamation mark game does not work. Let me see if I have it turned off for some reason. I did have it turned off. It should work now. Alright. Fucking chatbot making a liar out of me. Ah, I swear to god. Oh, there it goes. This game makes you want to sleep? Why would I be offended? I didn't make the game. I'm just experiencing the game. And if you want to sleep, maybe you should get some rest. Sis, why is she staring at us? Psst. Don't say anything. Pretend we can't talk and she'll just walk away. Okay. Oh, gotta look up. Whoa. A giraffe? What are you doing here on a train from the city? Low battery be like, yeah, my control- my joy-cons were almost dead, so I stole my brothers. So I'm getting low battery notifications from my other joy-cons while using somebody else's. Pretty sure there's no wild giraffe around here. That's because I'm not wild. I lived in a zoo. Did something happened at the zoo? No. I was just sick, that's all. Sorry. You don't have to. I wish you wouldn't apologize so much. I'm not gonna read the I'm sorry messages anymore. It's apologizing for things that are out of your control. Actually rewires your brain to fault yourself. And she hasn't done anything wrong. We haven't done anything wrong. So we don't need to apologize anymore. It was a sweet release. I didn't mind. How does it feel to live in a zoo? That's a difficult question to answer. I've been living in the zoo since I was born, so I don't really have any comparison. I don't want to disturb you any longer then. Enjoy the rest of your ride, Mr. Giraffe. Oh, you're kind of cute. Wow. Surprise that it's an exotic plant like me. Hey, Scorcher, how are you? Well, of course. You don't seem surprised to see that I'm surprised. Girl, I'm exotic. This happens all the time. Well, I mean, it's not every day. People can see a plant like you around here. How'd you end up in the city, by the way? Collection. Excuse me? I'm part of a collection. Owned by someone who loves gardening a bit too much. He has his own botanical garden for plants like me. Oh, considering the area, I'm not surprised a rich person with such a peculiar hobby lives around. Yup. Even then, I'm still considered as one of his most prized possessions, you know? If you don't mind me asking, why are you here? No special reason. My time has come. That's all. I don't have any problems with that. Everything that lives must die. No one lives forever. I lived a happy life. What's more to ask for? We all have different definitions of a happy life. For me, simply being taken care of is enough. I'm glad you got to experience a good life, though. Oh, Happy, content little plant. I had a, I had a good life. A little, a little arrogant, maybe. I have prized possession. Ha ha ha. But hello, elephant. What do you want? <gasps> I'm sorry. Wait. You're different. You're not like them. The other humans I have to deal with when I was alive. Well, what makes you think that? You don't make me feel threatened. Oh. Did you live with bad people? 
Bad would be an understatement. They killed my parents, took their tusks, and took me to where your people live, to be an entertainment, to take your people around the same path every single day. Aww. Zoo? That's a place where humans watch other animals, right? Oh, I wish I lived there. But no. I'd live somewhere else. Every day was hell. I finally reached my limit, and I'm glad it's all over. Aww. Elephant was getting abused. You don't like how it makes you feel bad for animals? It makes me feel bad for the people, too. We've, we're just, like, in an animal patch right now. Now she's raising arenas for animal abuse. Aww. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do it for you, baby. There's a swing! What a weird place to have a swing. Oh. We're- we're going up. <gasps> oh my god, hello! This whole elephant thing was a huge thing in the past. Yeah, it was. This reminds me of the fucking Deku tree from... From Zelda. Ah, the music shift, too. the luckiest tree to be graced with a lively soul even after mine left this world but in a very different way and what's so different about the way i talk young one yes from ocarina of time you sound real like somehow i'm not as surprised to hear you talk compared to the other passengers <laughs> i'll take that as a compliment then so brings you here, young one. Man, this is major Zelda vibes. I was just wandering around, waiting for this train to reach its destination, and then they'll take me home. I wasn't asking you about that, dear. What brings you to the train? Huh? I don't know. I was just about to go home, and I overslept. When I woke up, I was on board. Oh my, you can't just randomly get into this train. This is a special train for someone unlike you. Thank you for the head pats, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. It's weird that I suddenly got here. It's not that weird, child. There's a way for a living being to ride this train. What are you, what are you talking about? That person, they have to be connected. Or maybe they got too close with death. They have to make a connection with death themselves. Are you telling me that it wasn't a coincidence? There's no coincidence if we're talking about death. There's only fate. You are destined to ride this train. Because you, or one way or another, have touched death. It's alright if you don't want to talk about it. The fact that you are here, with your life intact, means death is giving you a chance. Who knows why? Maybe they love you. Or maybe, just be, they think you still have a purpose to fulfill in the land of the living. Being loved by death? That's really something. It really is. But also nothing at the same time. Death loves everyone. How else do you explain this devotion to the difficult job? of maintaining the life and death of every single creature on earth. Wait over my moment of joy, old tree. <laughs> you are special, but so is everyone else. I think you misunderstood the meaning of special. I still have much to learn, yes. How old are you, old tree? And why do you know so much about death? How old am I? 
Oh, let's see. I can't remember when they first planted my seed. But the first time I tasted the sun, the humans were at war. That doesn't say much. We were at war far too many times. Yes, I can't remember the exact time. But the people from the west had just arrived, and the original humans for the region were fighting against them. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yes, it was. Eric Shreds at the rate of seven. Thank you so much. Welcome back. What was your stream? How was Apex? I am so sorry. This is probably not the vibe you were wanting to raid into. We are playing a game called What Comes After. It is a... Oh, thank you for the head pads. Thank you. Is this perfect for you? Perfect. But this is a game about this girl who ended up on a train to the afterlife. And she's not dead yet. So we're talking to all of the spirits, and we're seeing what kind of wisdom they can impart before they, uh, before they reach their afterlife. And anyways, to answer your question about how I know a little about death, you'll be surprised by the amount of life conceived, born, and taken away beneath my branches. Every time Jeth visited me, we talked a little bit. They're good friends with a lot of old trees. And hello! Uh, I'm gonna go with goddess. That's the easiest part to pronounce out of that, I think. And yeah, Centaur, we got a couple raiders. We got a couple new friends. Do you have a lot of friends around your age? Not so much, sadly. Most of them won't reach even half of my age. Did you miss a raid? We did! We got a raid! And the train is a tree now, Lily. Well, there's a tree on a train. But yeah, we got Eric Shreds with a raid of seven. Whether it's because of war or because the humans took their life. I was one of the lucky ones, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. Death is just a passageway to a better life. To the good place. I hope your dinner was good, Lily. Thank you so much for the hydrate, I appreciate it. You haven't eaten it yet, but it will be good. Good, I'm glad. I'm good friends with death, remember? Not everybody goes to the good place, do they? Only good people deserve it. Ah, you are a believer. Um, it's not that. We are trees, child. We do no sins. And we're not the most tormented, yet very important souls on earth. No kind of divine rules would disqualify us from the better afterlife. We were born on earth to serve and to suffer, and we can't do anything about it. Yikes. That's harsh. Um, please hug the tree. Aw, she hugged the tree. Aww. This tree needed a hug. I'm sorry, I keep calling you by no name. Do you mind? It's alright, kid. I'm calling you so many names, too. Pardon me for forgetting to ask. What is your name? My name is Vivi. Ah, Vivi. What a beautiful name. So full of life, both in words and in meaning. So tell me, Vivi, once you leave this train, what will you do? Go home. And then sleep, I guess. To be honest, I haven't put much thought into it. <laughs> You're not that different compared to us trees. Why is that? Try asking all the trees on board this train. What would they do if they were allowed to return? I assure you, the answer would either be sleep or photosynthesis. Is there a way to turn off the sound the text makes when you go to the next one? Um, I don't think so. Which is why I ask. You have so many potential. So, yeah, so much potential. Why not utilize it? It's not that easy. 
You're right. It's not that easy. But everything worth doing never is. Hey, come on. I just got into this mess for a few hours. That's if time flows normally here. I won't just simply find a new purpose in a couple hours. Your journey tonight is not yet done, dear. What if, after I return, I still haven't found my purpose? Then maybe... How is for you to decide? You have to experience... You have experienced the thing not so many people, not even the gods, ever have. Tell them about your story, however you like, or do nothing. That's also alright. Hmm. Finding a new purpose sounds fun. It's a chunky tree, and the chunky tree is so good, wholesome bean. But I guess the night is young. The night is older than everything we know. But yes, the night is young. I believe I have served my purpose with Vivi. Now go, find your purpose, or do nothing. The world is not in your hand, but your world is in your hands. Aww. Oh, can I not go that way anymore? Alright, well, I guess we can go back this way then. We went pretty far that way. I don't know how far left we're gonna have to go to get to something new. The comment about animals earlier makes sense now. Which comment? There's someone at the bar! Oh my god, hi! Can I have a cupcake? I hope those animals are on their way to the dear families. Me too! Good evening, miss. Um, good evening. Are you also? Ha ha ha. You wanna ask whether I'm dead? <gasps> well, yes. I'm sorry if that's rude. Don't worry about it. But to answer your question, the concept of living or death does not apply to me. Huh? Do you, do you work here? Just like the granny conductor? Disliking the animals sitting on the train because it made them feel bad for the animals or something? Got you. Yeah, we, we passed an entire animal section, Lily. We talked to dogs and cats and monkeys and a giraffe and an elephant. We were sad. Sad for the animals. Interesting. I thought the dead don't need to eat anymore. No, you're right. They don't. Then what do you do? I'm here to give them a parting gift. Why don't you give it a try? Yo, do I get to eat a ghost cupcake? If I accept the parting gift, doesn't it mean that I will die? And if that's the case, would you mind? Oh, interesting. I thought you've been thinking about doing it for a while. Isn't that right, Vivi? Oh, he's special. I like that when she surprised her text wobbles, it's a nice feature. It's a nice, like, I don't know, it just, it conveys emotion really well. Just casually dropping in a chat. How'd you know my name? How'd you know about that? I just know. It's the perk of being me. It's good storytelling, exactly. Also, thank you for still being here, I love you. Fucking meme particle looking head ass I so what you want right I know thank you for the offer but I don't think I want to go yet understandable I want you to know goose every time I see hear or say the word understandable that fucking song that you sing will now play in my head for forever just so you know, my offer is always open. No strings attached. Do you want to taste the parting gift I usually serve? You don't have to part with your life afterward. 
Hey MK. This game is called What Comes After. It looks like this. It's a game about a girl who accidentally ends up on a train to the afterlife. And so we get to talk to all the spirits. And it's super cute and it's got a bunch of like good positive messages and stuff. Are you allowed to do that? I manage this kitchen and bar. I can do whatever I want. Oh. Is she dead or still alive? She is still alive. She is still alive, as far as we know. But, but, but... What? No. Yeah, do whatever the fuck he wants. Don't you have a more pressing customer? That's very thoughtful of you. But no. My place is the most popular spot on the train. Most of the beings who ride this train immediately visited my place upon arrival. They don't want us. They don't want to miss experience. My job is more or less done for tonight. Called Distraints? I do not know that. And he does seem like a cool bartender. It's not a bother. Their color changes from the game picture? Does it? Oh, you're right. It's like a brown in the, the picture. Even she was in the living world. It was this color, though. Like, it didn't change for the spirits. It might just be a lighting thing. Centaur, you can visit a cool bartender if you want to. You will not be visiting the train to the afterlife. Because if you do, I will haunt you down and bonk you. Thank you for hearing. And it's not my dish, it is your dish. Give me a moment. Centaur, you're not allowed. Not allowed. You're carrying me in Apex for a little while longer. Eh? This? This is the food you give to people as the parting gift? More Apex. Yeah, I know. I was making the same face. Of stuff directly in your belief system? Aww. Yes and no. What do you mean? Why don't you tell me about the dish? It's your dish after all. What do I have to explain? It's a mug of hot green tea latte and a plate of nasi goreng? The sunny side up. It's gotta be like her favorite or maybe something she makes. Do I ever get around to do any reading for fun? Um, yes and no. I tend to hyperfixate on books if I find a really good one. Other than that, I don't read very much. So, like, this last book I read, um, I finished it in two sittings, and it was like a 400 page. Other than that, I can't focus on a book for long enough to enjoy it. Or remember what was happening in the last chapter if I try to read it like a chapter at a time. So you serve this to everyone? No. But yeah, I just- I, I literally read an entire book. Or I won't read. And yeah, this is her dish, for sure. Why don't you give it a try? Let me take a bite. Cutscene? Cutscene! Oh my god, she's so cute! I love her! This? It's been so long. But I remember this. Her hair color is the same here as it is in the game, I think. What do you remember? It was a Sunday morning, and she was only eight. Mom made this for us. It's simple, I know, but mom was a single parent. She has to work multiple jobs. Author Charles Dolan has similar but better vibes to this. It deals with a lot of modern topics, and every story makes you feel better. Huh. You can get a proper education sometimes, even weekends. 
But that Sunday morning, as my kids fixed on the TV, I could smell her cooking, and I left my favorite anime to follow the scent. Usually we have to cook for ourselves, or mom would buy something. But she doesn't have to work that weekend. She was in a good mood. So she made something for the three of us. That's the weird thing. It wasn't the first time she cooked for us quite often. Despite her being busy, I don't know why that Sunday felt so special. It wasn't near your birthday, or any of our birthdays, it just had a special place. It looks hot. Oh. I wonder how he's doing now. Ah, uh, nothing. The stream just reminds you of your friend. It was a very difficult evening. And something almost happened, and thankfully nothing happened, but still, it was a difficult evening. And he was there to help you get through it. Her friend talked her down. This is... He listened. And encouraged. But mostly listened. No. Let's pretend I don't. Of course he does. <laughs> it's hot green tea latte. It's just a cup of instant green tea. You would get dirt cheap at the convenience store. But it was the best I've ever had. I guess I understand what you served here. You don't serve food and drinks, you serve memories. best meals your customers ever had in their life. Most of the time, it's not about the food. The memories attached to them. This, this is why I got into food service. Specifically, it was because it was a way to care for people. And that, that excitement or the bonding that happens over food, specifically. place and people I may ask how long have you been doing this? I can't tell you the exact number of years but I've been doing this since the concept of life and death wow that's that's a long time how should I ask this yes you're right they did ask for the apple when they visited this place. Well... Sorry, can't help it. Aww. A nice little biblical reference in there, in a, a tasteful way. This is still alive. You're not the first, but you are one of the very lucky few. In life by having your dish, amen to that. During your second visit, you'll have something new to eat and drink. I like him. My chat's broken. Man, I didn't... Ah, oh, that's good feels. Ego tasting the dish and it reminding of if mom taking care of him? Yeah. I mean, the train has been there for that long. See, they mentioned earlier that they think the train, um, the train transformed. 
That icon means you can talk to him more? No, when I when I talked to everybody, they had the icon and you can just like replay it. Being in her shoes knowing she'll be back on that train. Yeah, it, it really is. Maybe I should go back to my car. Gotta make sure they don't leave me inside the train again. Yeah, she knows what's coming. She doesn't have to be afraid of the end anymore. Still walking around? There's nothing else to do, honey. Just wait in the car you woke up on. You've done this whole story in a different form. Interesting. There wasn't anything left, was there? No. In a Beetlejuice musical. Hmm. Lydia goes to the underworld alive to try and find her mom. What a ride. I'm gonna need a 24 hour sleep after this. That's me too. Kitty? Baby! Thank you so much for the coins of the challenge. I appreciate it. Hey, kitty. What are you looking for? Sorry I didn't bring any food with me. I'm- <laughs> I'm dead. Ah! We've already talked to animals. Why are you panicking? The workers of the afterlife. Those who took their own lives. It matters because Lydia is suicidal. I've been through so many things this evening, and a talking cat is still a surprise. Get it together, human. Fucking right. Now pet me. Aww. Her life is worth living? Aww. But this is such a cat. Ah. Yes, and you will do what we say anyway. Damn, you're cute. Ah. That's how we survive. Hey, Goosey. I'm, while you're in here, I'm gonna give you a forewarning. This game has a lot of mentions of self-harm suicide and or just talk around death in general. But it's like in a good feel kind of way. Like... It's very reflective. So something to be aware of, but I appreciate you being here. This is- it's been a good game so far. I hope you enjoy. This is how we survive. By stealing and being cute. You had peace with death. So, I guess you've been following me around, kitty. Uh, you human and your generic names. You have any then? What should I call you? Kitty is fine. Fucking bitch! We just hit the ending? Maybe. Maybe. We've been going for about two hours. I'm just curious. Oh, hello. Such a kitty! But yeah, she, she just goes home. That's simply a cat's nature. But if you're just another dead person, I won't care at all. But you're still alive. Cat names are like... Bear names in Paddington. Impossible to pronounce in human tongue. Nah. And I am judging you. We cats are good at judging. The same cannot be said about us. That's right. Judging me for what? By the for something important. But before that, I'd like to get to know you better. Tell me about yourself. Do we get to learn more about her? We've been talking to everyone else, and we've figured something out about her. But do we get a- do we get a backstory? 
Oh my god, kitty! Ah! Good night, Jeff. Oh, I love them. Is this your ninth time here? That's not how it works. When we lose a life, we simply wake up if we were sleeping. Just like in your video games. Oh, I don't play games that much, but I understand. So this was your ninth time dying. We usually wasted the first few of our lives when we were kids. Learning takes sacrifice. True. I wish we can learn how to live life with additional eight lives like you. You have better brains than us. I should compensate for the additional lives you don't have. What do you mean, why? Why is your brain not enough for you? I... I'm not sure. Even with this brain, life is still not easy. Sometimes I feel like our brain just made things harder. Cat brain smooth. This is true. Nine lives sounds like a better option. Human, we were given nine lives. Because we can only learn things the hard way. Dying nine times involves a lot of pain. And so did living only once. I guess each of us has our unique problems. Pain isn't bad. Pain is what teaches us to stop. To not do something again. Or, if you're a select few of us, to do something again. But, um... It doesn't last forever. Game designer definitely has had cats. Yup. My mom and my sister. I used to live by myself, renting an apartment near your office. So does my sister. But then, uh, mom's condition got a little worse, and someone has to stay with her. We have this little convenience store at home. Mom saves money from the year she spent working. Her dream was to build a restaurant, but that's hard. It's even harder than before nowadays, you know? So she decided to open a small store, selling general necessities, and sometimes weird stuff she found online or in her travels. Nowadays she mostly just sits and has a chat with customers. Sometimes we get to help, usually from the local neighboring kids looking for extra money. I think having a family, amount, family member around would be better, so I decided to move back. Not having to pay rent is great, but the time I spend on the road is pretty crazy too. And what about your sister? She doesn't really have any options. She comes back home almost every weekend, but she still lives by herself in the Central Business District. Do you have a garden at home? A garden? We, we do. Mom loves gardening. It's not big, but it's enough. It does sound nice. Thank you. I'm lucky to have them. And they're lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that one. I'm just a burden for them. Oh, oh, new, new fucking message coming up. There we go. I gotta drink some water for this one. Oh, centaur! <laughs> this one's important. This one's for you. You are not a burden. Glad you're here. I love you, homie. Don't go anywhere. No, listen. You need to listen. You don't seem to want to listen to me, and you don't seem to want to listen to Lily. So just watch. Oh. Did you hear them talking about it behind your back? I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, no, actually. You didn't accept my apology? No, I never heard them actually say that I was a burden. Oh, that's right, Twitch doesn't want you to watch. If they never said that you're a burden, why would you think that you're a burden? 
um, centaur. <laughs> this kitty is the example of why having nine lives is better than having a brain. I don't get it. If having a human's brain won't let me think that I'm the queen of the world, I don't want that. I told you so. Have you finished interviewing me yet? Yes. I think I have assessed you enough. So, what's the verdict? I feel like D streamed this game just to throw things at me. Get fucked. <laughs> I love you. Uh, I think you would be the perfect person. I need your help. I don't know that I'm able to help you anymore. But shoot, I died today. You know that for sure. I was on my way home after looking for food before a reckless driver crashed into me. I'm so sorry, kitty. I don't mind dying, really. Being a stray cat's not a life full of glory, but I left something behind, and they won't let me rest in peace. And what's that? Kittens. Yeah, there are four of them. I went out to eat so I can nurse them. But, you know. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. No. You don't need to feel sorry, human. But people let this happen. We're the worst. Oh yeah, I 100% agree with that one. Hey, background dealer. How are you? We're talking to a cat that's dead. Humans and dogs are always racing to be the worst. Back to topic. I hate to do this. But I'd like to ask for your help. What can I do? Do you want me to avenge your death to the driver who killed you? Aw oh, man. That'd be tough, but I'll try. No, silly. Is it possible? Is it possible if you would take my kids in? Huh? You want me to take care of your kids? You can't sleep? I'm sorry to hear that. I'm having fucking big feels over this fucking game. But you know. It's good. It's really good, and it's really sweet and somber, almost. It's not sad, but it's somber. And they don't ask for much. Human, I'm dead. You're the only living person here. The conductor and the chef are here. Do you think they care? They don't? Oh, they probably do. But they're busy. If they need to make sure every soul in their jurisdiction rests in peace, they would die. Even though that concept doesn't really apply to them. Is it alright? I can't even take care of myself, let alone taking care of four kittens. You'll be fine. I've been watching you since you've boarded this train. You don't love yourself enough. But that lack of self-love was allocated to everyone else. Us cats have more senses than you human. Who knew? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know whether I can be enough for them, but I'll try. Mom would love them. Then my sister. She'll get used to having them. That's a spirit. You don't need to worry. They're like three or four weeks old. They just need somebody to feed them, give them home, and give them love. And love them well. It'll do. Where can I find them? How to explain it. Oh, I know. Focus on me. What are you? Background dealer with the hydrate and the stretch. Thank you. And yes, depressed people need animals. I appreciate your concern for my health and my spine. And it does. It makes it easier to take care of yourself. You've got this external push. To do something. And sometimes that push is enough to do something for yourself too. Just focus on thinking about what's probably inside my head. You're into fitness? Aw. Well thank you for sharing your your interest in fitness with me. 
Oh, what's that? Do you see them? Yeah. They're not too far from the station. Yes, so please. Don't worry. You know you can count on me. I don't know. But you know, right? Also, boost with the hydrate. Thank you so much. You have to get out of bed to take care of a dog, cat, or even a fish. You can't lay there and waste away. This is true. Thank you so much. You've done enough, kitty. You can rest now. Once again, thank you. I have one more request. Can I stay on your lab till I arrive at my destination? No, It's such a kitty! I love them. I would die for them. I would ride this train to make sure that they got there safely. This cat is such a cat. And I love them. Also, I think I can charge my other controllers so they'll stop beeping. Hang on. I think we're at the end of the game. We have to be. Miss. Miss. Oh, we're awake. We're awake. Whoa. Am I dead? I hope not, miss. Ugh, I'm back. You never left. You've been stuck inside the train for hours. What time is it? It's almost 4 a.m. Time for the first train. Oh, thank God it's weekend. Wait, what day is today? You're right, it's Saturday. Oof. You should thank our station head for finding you here. Oh, sure. Oh my God, she's her. I just got fucking jump scared by little old lady walking on the screen. I want to find the kitties too. Got something to do. I'm sure, nobody's left inside the other trains. Okay, will do, ma'am. Thank you. You look like someone who just seen a ghost, dear. Why are you here? I work here, remember? I thought you only work in the other train. Ha! Don't work that way. Even with me watching both sides of the station, they still manage to sneak you in. Imagine if I only work on one side. They? You mean your staff? No, I'm talking about death. That sneaky bastard. <laughs> oh. How was your trip last night? A pleasant journey? Heh. <laughs> I have to say, it's a life-changing experience. Good. You're very lucky, you know. For most people, a trip is a sign of a life-ending experience. Goose with another hydrate, thank you so much. I love you. And you still got your life ahead of you. I'm gonna do my best. Is that two back-to-back -back hydrates, you fucker? I've hydrated twice? No, heck you. Don't get too comfortable staying here. I'm sure you have a promise to make, right? Oh my, yes. Thank you for reminding me. I'm off. Oh my god, she runs! She runs. Live well, kid. Aww. Prism is looking out for me. Prism is a good friend. And as much as they refuse to admit it, they are a safe space for me, and I appreciate them for being like that. For being somewhere I can go. Another hydrate, I. Whatever you say. Really just throw in those hydrates at me. And yeah. That was such a good game. That's one of the games that I'm gonna carry with me for a while. They should be. Here they are. K 
kitties. Oh my god, I love them. somber but it wasn't like sad and your contributions are always welcome honey and that was so good and like it was short but it didn't feel short it was, it was a good pace, and like, it hit all the marks just right. Uh, thank you for playing with your support, thank you for spending your time with us, thank you for being here. And thank you for having you. Babies! Oh my god, I, oh, I love them. You are special. Everybody is special in their own way. And not like, oh, your mama said you were special, but you... You got something. Oh, that was... that was good. That was so good. Uh, thank you for the head pads. I appreciate it. Love the head pads. But yeah, her hair color is like brown in this. You got pain in the game? Oh, Noida. I think it's the lighting too, Goose. Her hair is colored the entire game. And then on the main screen, it's a little different. Man. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm like... I'm in a very zen kind of mood. I don't want to jump back into an action game. But... Man... That game just hit different. I like games. You're drowning me? I mean, that can be negotiated. Mm. 
Man, I genuinely don't know what comes next. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for enjoying this little trip with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. For, you know, not only being here tonight, but giving me the platform and the ability to share all of this with you. I, I like games, mostly for the social aspect. I like sharing them with other people, and I like being able to play with other people. So playing single player games is not super appealing to me, but then you get to experience something like this, and it's amazing. And then... I don't know, being able to share it just makes it that much better. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to call stream there, because no matter what I do, I'm probably going to be switching moves, and I don't know, like, that's just a nice, safe place to call it. Very cozy, very warm. So yeah, I, I think that's it. Um, there's no way that I want to send you guys to. A certain me often was demanding more treats. Aww. I'm about to dive into your DMs, Goose, but we're wrapping stream for now. I was just saying thank you to everyone who came out tonight. I heckin' appreciate it. Thank you, Eric, for the raid, for giving us some new friends to be able to share in that experience. But yeah, Goose, we beat the game. So I think that that's just a nice, safe place to wrap. Anyways, have a good night, everybody. I hope you get to take a little something with you. And I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>